Hey, what's up YouTube? This is iPhone Modder here and today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Now I have not tried this tweak out with the iPod Touch nor the iPad, but I have tried it with the iPhone and it does work. So first what you're going to want to do is jailbreak your device. If you don't know how to jailbreak your device, there will be some links down in the description below showing you tutorials on how to do so. Once you have a jailbroken device, you're going to want to unlock your device go into Cydia and once Cydia loads up you're gonna want to go to the manage tab then you're gonna want to go into sources then press edit on the top right corner then add and you're going to want to add the repo that is on the screen right now it's insanely it's repo.insanely.com something like that I'll have it on the screen so just type that in and then refresh your sources and I'll be back once you have refreshed your sources Alright, now that you've refreshed your sources, you want to go back into Cydia, which you should already should be. And then you want to go into search and then type in speed intensifier. Once you type in speed, it should just come up. And there's a speed intensifier tweak and a speed intensifier add-on. Now, I'm just going to go over the tweak itself, not the add-on. The add-on actually goes in Winterboard and you can enable it through there. The intensifier tweak is actually through settings. So I'm just going to go over that. So you want to download that and once you're done, come back to this tutorial. All right, now that we have the speed intensifier tweak, you're going to want to open up settings on your device. Once you're in settings, you want to scroll down and you're going to want to find something that says speed intensifier. So once you open up the speed intensifier tweak in settings, you have a few options. You have a dot, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, and infinity. The dot just keeps your speed at normal. The two obviously times is it by two and infinity goes infinity and the rest are just credits and donations. And the thing I don't like about this tweak is that it doesn't actually give you a utility to respring, which you need to do. So I'm just going to real quick before I show you guys a walkthrough, just show you how you can respring your device. So the first method is to use SB settings. If you don't have SP settings, it's just that what I just did. And right down here, it says respring. So you can just tap that and you can respring your device. The next method is actually going into Winterboard. So once you're in Winterboard, you want to go on select themes and then just select deselect a theme and then just go back and then hit respring up there and it will respring your device. So those are two ways. I'm not gonna talk about how to use SB settings or Winterboard, but if you wanna know how, just like this video and I'll possibly make a video on it. Then when you're done with that, you wanna go back into your settings and go back into speed intensifier and I'll show you once I get there. All right, so once you're back in settings, just go back into the speed intensifier tweak and just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna first select infinity. And now I'm going to respring my device and come back once I have resprung. All right, now that I've resprung my device, I'm just going to unlock it and show you guys how fast it gets. So just before I start, I have an iPhone 3GS. It has a case on, but it is a 3GS. And just want to let you know that depending on how fast you set it at, it may drain your battery. So let's just unlock my device and let's see how fast it got. All right. So first, I'm just going to open up the text messaging app. And as you can see, that was pretty fast and exiting out was pretty fast as well. Let's open up the maps. All right, that was pretty fast too. Exiting was also very fast. So basically what this app does is it just cuts out the animations that you usually see on these apps when you open and close them. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. But let's just open up a few more apps. All right, YouTube. That was pretty fast. Closing it. All right, pretty fast too. Let's see, email. Very fast. Closing it, very fast. And let's just try to open up a folder that has a passcode on it. So let me type in my passcode. And you might say that was slow, but compared to usual times, that is very fast. Usually it takes like a good like 10 seconds to open because it has a passcode on it. And yeah, everything is going very smoothly. Usually it's not this smooth, 
I have an iPhone 3GS again, and it's not the fastest device, I have to say. This actually makes it very fast. I'm not sure how it works on iPhone 4s, iPod Touches, or iPads, but for my iPhone 3GS, it works very well. So guys, I'm just going to show you the animations between the apps that I was talking about that makes them slower. So in settings, I'm going to go back and put the dot which means that I'm going back to normal speeds and I'm going to respring my device and I'll come back once I have done so. All right, now that I have respring my device, it is running a normal speed, no multiplying or anything. Let's just launch it right up. And first, let's just go in the text messaging app. All right, that was actually pretty fast. Now let's exit out. And as you can see that animation there, that is the animation that I was talking about. It takes a little bit more time to do and that's why often things are laggy. Now let's launch a calculator. All right, kind of laggy there, but not too bad. And kind of laggy out too. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but yeah, it's not the best, but uh, here, let's just launch a YouTube. Lag there as well. Let's exit. All right, that was actually smooth transition out. So the animations provide a cool effect, but just make your device seem slower. So this tweak takes away the animation and boosts up your RAM a little bit so you can use your device better and even faster. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Please like this video and you want to hit that subscribe button right up there to see more videos like these tweaks and little jailbreaking hacks for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Please subscribe and ultimately have a nice day.